Hello, 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 crafty friends. It's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Welcome to our crafting studio. Come on in, get comfortable. I have an adorable, very special craft tonight for you. Let me get my, let me get my thing up here and I can give you the keyword. We have a weekly drawing and if you comment the keyword, you get entered into that weekly drawing and that's gone and that is that should be good so our weekly our our keyword tonight is dog tag you can spell it in two words you can spell it in one word dog tag like the military let's see that has sent so i'm going to turn that off there we go. So hello, hop in, say hello. We are so thankful to be hosting this segment of Craft Round the Clock. And we're sharing it, of course, onto our own page. And we are glad to have you here. Hop in, say hello in the comments. Again, the keyword tonight is dog tag. One or two words, doesn't matter. It should work. And that will get you in... Uh, entered into our weekly drawing that we hold on Sunday nights. So get that in and say hello, Vintage Pebble. Now, if you, I don't mind you coming on here with your business page, but you won't be able to enter the keyword because Facebook doesn't take messages from business page to business page. So if you're commenting on your business page, that's all well and fine, but just know that keyword is not gonna work for you. Hello, Tara. Hello, Maude. Hello, Lori. Yay, yay, yay. So if you're joining us, we would love it if you would give our page a heart, if you would follow us at Raincross Farms Makery, and if you would sprinkle our video out to your page, to your crafty friends, to any craft groups that you belong to, we would certainly appreciate that. Thanks so much. I think I introduced myself. My name is Robin, and behind the camera, behind the computer, is my husband, Bill. You might hear him from time to time. So, hello, Jesse. How are you? Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so we're also going to have, and I'm going to start it. If you've watched me before, when I'm posting Craft Around the Clock, because we tend to get a lot more viewers, if we get 25 viewers, I am at any one time I'm going to have a drawing at the end of this live you do need to be present to win so I've got two drawings going on one weekly you enter that by commenting the keyword dog tag and another one how you get entered into the tonight's drawing is you just comment and I have my timer set for five ish or so minutes and when that timer goes off Bill is in charge of checking the comment list and the last person to comment on according to his screen and hasn't already been entered, that person's name gets entered on a ticket and we will draw one, one or two lucky winners at the end. And it's empty from last week because I made the mistake one time of not emptying it out and it was a giant mess. So, hello Peggy. Hello, Tammy. Charge of checking. Charge of checking. I'm not sure what that means. Me. I'm in charge of oh, checking. Oh, Bill's in charge of checking. He's a checking charger. Anyway, let's get started. Um, if you saw the little uh, blurb when you signed on, it says, do you know somebody who is in the military or someone who has military members in their family because we're going to do a project that is uh, going to be awesome for them. It is called, we, we Do Dog Tags is the title. So it's this beautiful thing. It says, in this house, we do dog tags. We do last minute. We do real. We do mistakes. We do deployments. We do hugs. We do video chat, we do patriotic, we do love. So that is awesome. And we are going to make a cute little thing to hang on the wall, to hang on your door, put up on your shelf. And we are actually going to put it on this tonight. This is um, our wooden door tag. 
Unfortunately, they have discontinued this. So if this is something you're interested in, I do have one or two floating around here that I could, that I could invoice you for. Um, but I'm going to show you another option, but I'm going to go ahead and use it, use it on this. Here's another option you could do it on. This is our house box frame. And that would be, that would be beautiful inside there too. So if you check, if you end up checking the supply list, this will be included in there because the door tag is no longer available. But that's just another option. So let's get started. Let's see, looks nice, thank you. Hey Teresa, Let me get this opened. So once we get word that this is officially retired, we can actually start cutting some of these out on our own for sale. So keep keep posted for that. But, but right now I know it's it's 14 inches long, so we don't have wood. We can get it. Do we have it? Okay. No, we can get it. We can we can get it. We don't have it. Okay, so here's our wooden door tag. Dog tags. I you know, I'm assuming it's still this way. Dog tags, at least, used to be um, silver, not made out of silver, but steel, stainless steel. So we are going to paint this up to make it look like steel, and it's kind of the shape of a dog tag. I know dog tags, at least they used to be a little more rounded, but we're going to do it on this. Okay, will that fit in the house? I have seen people do it in the house. Um, it barely fits, but it does. It goes straight from corner to corner. It does. You could leave off one of the lines and you'd have plenty of room, but it does fit, but it goes straight up to the corner and straight down to the bottom. So yes, it does fit in this. Or you could always turn it around onto the back. You could put it on the back too. Okay, thanks for asking. Okay, so let's get this painted up. I'm going to put down some paper. You're breaking up really bad. Who said that? Lana. Okay, I'm sorry. Try, yeah, let us know if that works for you. Okay, there's our timer. Oh, well, there you go. That's Cynthia Cotwood. Cynthia Cotwood. You are the first entrance, entrant into our drawing and okay so I'm going to end up painting it this silver this metallic silver but I'll probably have to do a couple of coats so I'm going to do a base coat of chalk paint and this is the color elephant Waverly brand the color is elephant and I am going to, I'm going to paint this with my sponges. If you've seen me do my sponge paint technique, instead of using a brush, I'm going to sponge this on. These are, these are nail guard sponges that I buy at the Dollar Tree. They look like this. You get a package of six. I cut them in half and they kind of give you a little place to grab, but they, they, they work great as paint brushes. And you can see I've used it before, so I can use it over and over again as long as I clean it up. So I'm gonna put a layer of this gray on so that hopefully I won't have to do two layers of, hopefully I won't have to do two layers of the silver. They kind of want it to be that dog tag look. Can somebody tell, confirm that dog tags are, they still use dog tags and they're still made out of stainless steel or something similar? Yes, I get my sponges from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, and there's, there's lots of dollar type stores. I get mine from the Dollar Tree. Good idea, thank you. Oh, clean the sponges, yes. I, um, 
if I let this dry in the sponge, it'll harden up and I'll never get it clean. So if I want to use these again, I could just toss them. It's not that expensive. But if I wanted to do that, and I think I'm, I think I'm going to do the edges just real quick. But if I let it dry, it's going gonna, it's gonna to dry up. I'll never be able to use it again. But if I stick it right into some water and then clean it up as soon as I'm done, I can reuse them several times. Okay. So, quick and easy. I'm going to put this in a little water bath. Put the lid on this. And I'm going to dry this up. Then we're going to put our silver on. How can you keep how can you keep the sponges clean? Well, this is what I do. I just have a pie pan or some container that's got a little bit of water in it. And I just keep that sponge part in the water that keeps the paint wet. And then to clean them, I just run them under water and squeeze them out until all the paint stops coming out and then they're clean they might be a little stain i forgot one edge i did i did thank you i will have to catch that thanks for catching that and i do have my glue gun turned on because that tends to be my problem too, forgetting to turn on my glue gun. Okay, let me get this dry and then I will touch up that edge. I was so busy trying to not get paint on my fingers. You are welcome, Tammy. That's what I'm here for. If I ever miss anybody's question, just ask it again. Oh, you're sweet, Cynthia. Looking out for each other. Okay, so let me, you know what? I'm going to use another sponge on the next one. I'm just going to use a little corner of it, or By actually. Way, hit 25. Awesome! Yay! Okay, actually, I'm just going to take my finger. So much for not getting paint on my finger. And then I go and use my finger as a paintbrush. Okay, so now I've got that. There's my timer. Well, Tammy Whiting is the last one up. Tammy Whiting. Tammy. Okay, you are entered into tonight's drawing. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to move over to my silver. This is just acrylic paint. It's folk art, metallic. It's called Shimmering Steel. It was $1.59 at Hobby Lobby. I know Walmart carries something similar too. Make sure it's shooken up. Hi, Leah. Is it Leah or Lee? It's Leah okay. or Leah. Okay. okay, I'm going to put a little bit on there and I'm going to use my sponge. Ooh, pretty. That's so shiny. Well, I kind of wanted it to be a tad bit darker, but that's okay because I'm going to use white as part of this. We'll be okay. Okay, so if you're just joining us, I did reset my timer. We have two giveaways going on. We have a weekly giveaway that we hold on a drawing on Sunday nights. I'm purposely not going off the edges with the silver. To enter that weekly drawing, you just need to type in the word, the keyword, and tonight's keyword is dog tag, and that will get you entered. And you'll also get some other 
some other little buttons you can click if you're interested in supply lists or any other information. The other drawing, we're going to have a drawing tonight at the end of this live, so stick around if you get entered. They are going, yes, they are going to quit selling the tag. I am hoping, because it's so popular and nobody can understand why they're discontinuing it, they're bringing a lot of their surfaces out now in the reusable surface. So I have my fingers crossed that they are going to bring this back out again in the reusable surface. This is technically not a reusable surface because it's just painted wood. So my fingers are crossed for that. In the meantime, can designers that sure you can enter. Donna. I don't know if I said hello to you. Hi, Anne. And I don't think I said hello to you, Melanie. I think, Melanie, didn't you follow us? Is it you that followed us from YouTube? You saw us on YouTube first and then came over here and followed us on Facebook? So if you didn't know, we also have a YouTube channel. We upload all of our Facebook videos, our Facebook lives to YouTube. So they're actually in two places. They are nice as is. No, yeah, okay, good. Well, welcome. We are glad. It usually works the other way. Our Facebook people wander over to YouTube. So we are glad to have a YouTuber come over from to join us here. Okay, so this is dry. I'm about to put down a sticky transfer on freshly painted wood. It is a pretty color. I, I'm hoping the white shows up against it because I'm going to be putting some white paste on here. But before I do that, I'm going to wax this. So I have some surface wax. It's just clear paste wax. And what this will do is put a just a layer of protection between the paint and the, the sticky part of the transfer so it won't pull the paint up. Okay. How do you find us on YouTube? Um, do, is it at the bottom of the pinned comment? It is. There's a link on the bottom of the pinned comment, but you or, can also just go on YouTube and search. Type Rain in Cross Rain Cross Farms. Farms Makery. I think we're the only one, but also at the bottom of the pinned comment, there should be the direct link. And if you can't find it either way, just send me a message and I'll be happy to send you the link. Melanie says she's a new designer since April, so she took look for inspiration. Congratulations! Everywhere. Do you love it? Okay, there is my timer. That was a timer? Well, that's that Melanie. Timer. Oh, yay! Melanie Green. Okay. Got you entered. Okay, now I'm going to buff off a little bit of any of that excess wax. I don't want too much wax or it'll interfere with, it will interfere with my pasting. So let's get started. Something's, I'm gonna get this out just in case. What time is it? Okay, I'm good on time so far. Carol, that just gets you entered just in. Get, yeah, just, she hasn't won. I mean, yeah, congratulations. But keep in mind, you have not won until we draw your name at the very end. So these are just people who are getting their names entered into that drawing. Okay, so like I said, this is brand new and it's very sticky. And I'm about to put it on freshly painted wood. So I'm going to, we call it fuzzing. I'm going to apply just some lint to the sticky part of this transfer. This is a silkscreen transfer meant to be reusable. And putting a little bit of fuzz on it just kind of lightens up the stickiness so there's less chance of pulling up, pulling up that paint or having the transfer stick so tightly that I stretch it when I remove it. Okay, so I've got some fuzz some fuzz 
and I'm going to put this right there and make sure it's straight and I'm going to push it down make sure there's no big chunks of fuzz underneath there make sure there's no air bubbles Now, some of our transfers, I will tell you, some of our transfers uh, from one batch, we started with a new manufacturer. Yeah, I went through. And, good. And there's what's called a slug line. It's just a little uh, line that says the name of the transfer and its, its number and the date. And the first time we worked with this manufacturer, they communication was not clear and they ended up make instead of just printing that on the transfer they actually made it part of it it's a mesh under there so if i get chalk over it it's going to transfer onto my surface so i'm just putting a little bit of tape over it so that i don't accidentally get paste on it so we're going to do this with of course a red white and blue theme so we are going to start with our blue at the top and I think, how did I, how did I have this planned out? I think I'm going to do, red, white, red, white, red. Carol says she okay. liked your shirt. Thank you. Teresa says her daddy was in the Navy. Awesome. Do they have dog tags in all, yes. all military? Yes. I have my They're dad's dog tags. Okay, I'm just going to put this tape down because I'm going to use, I'm going to do different colors. So I'm going to do red on the top, like the, the field for the flag, for the stars. And then I'm going to do uh, trade off red and white, red and white to look like stripes on the lines below. So this is Chalkology Paste. It's chalk in paste form. So it's thicker than chalk paint. And it I'm... Says do it. Do it diagonal. Do it diagonal. Do what diagonal? The stripes? I guess. I don't, I'm not quite mm, sure. Could. Kind of angled. I could kind of too. blend them, but if I blend them, I'm going to have pink. And I'm really not looking to have pink on this. Ann says her son just had a 20-year retirement from the USA. Woohoo! Good for him. Did he start when he was young? So is he kind of a young guy? Going to go have a second career, or is he just going to enjoy the fruits of his labor? Okay, so I've got my blue, and I want to... This paste will dry pretty quickly, so... I am going to peel, do what's called paste and peel. So I'm going to peel this up. Is that your beepin? Yes. That's Peggy. Peggy. Oh, there we go. Peggy McGlinger. McGlinger. Okay, got you answered. Okay, so I just peeled this up just where I have chalked, and I'm going to just give it a quick dry. This releases it from the screen before it dries, so it stays on the surface. Peggy wanted to know what is the name of the paint? The name of the paint? The paint or the chalk paste that I'm using? The chalk paste is called Chalkology Chalk Paste, and I sell it in my shop. It's a product of Chalk Couture, and I am an independent designer for them. Oops. So I'm going to lay this back down gently. I'm not going to push down where I have already chalked, and I'm going to pick this up and remove this tape. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try and be really careful. And I'm going to do red and white. I'm going to alternate off. I'm going to get partway down and I think I'll stop. 
and, and do more paste and peel. Okay, I did reset that. Okay, so I'm going to start with red. And I'm going to do just one line, a one liner. You did reset your timer? I did. Teresa says it's pretty. Thank you. Wait till it's done. And Peggy said thank you for answering the question. Oh, you're welcome. Now I could tape this off again just so I don't have to worry so much that I'm going to go outside the lines, but we're going to live dangerously. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my white. And I'm going to do these two lines. And we're going to cross our fingers that the white shows up on this gray or silver. It's going to look good on the gray. I hope so. I hope so. Peggy says, you make it look so easy. Well, it isn't hard. It isn't hard. It does, it does, there is a little bit of a learning curve. And I've been doing it long enough. Okay, so I'm going to paste and peel. So just so that this doesn't dry in the screen. I'm going to hold this up. Okay, that, yeah, that white shows. Yay! And I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Okay. And I see a little bit of white that didn't quite take. Okay. Okay, let's see. Back to red. We do hugs. So a lot of this, if you if you want to kind of play around with the with the screens, a lot of this would apply even if it wasn't military. So you'd probably not want to do dog tags, but you might say we do last minute, we do real, we do mistakes. You might not say we do deployment. We do video chats, we do patriotic, we do love, we do hugs. So there's just a couple of these that are specific to military. So you could leave a couple of lines out. Okay, I'm going to peel last this up. One, last one was Anne Henry. Anne Henry. Anne Henry, thank you. Okay, and you know what I'm seeing is that completely messed up that W. Okay, let me get let me get Anne's name in here. And I restarted and okay i've got you entered and okay that she has her a set of her son's dog tags. so this is let me show you this w right here i pasted it again and it dried and when i pulled it up you can see it pulled up the paint so here's what i'm gonna do here's a little trick i can show you I'm going to lay this back down. I'm going to put just a teeny tiny tad bit of water on my finger, not very much. And I'm just going to try to soften up that paste. 
get it to adhere to the board. Oh, didn't quite do it. Okay, we'll keep working on that. We'll keep working on it. If nothing else, I'll go over it and I'll, once it's completely dry, I will lay this back down and go over it again. Okay, so let's see. We do hugs, we do video chat, we do patriotic, we do that in white. Just making sure I reset this. The word tonight is dog tag. Dog tag. And I think it'll work whether you do it in one word or two words. I think I put it in both ways. Teresa says, cool tip. Yeah, it doesn't always work, but. Okay, I'm going to peel this off one more time. And give it a quick dry, and then we'll do that last. Okay. And then we will do this in red. Candy apple red. take off the excess and let's peel it completely off Peggy wants to know if you sell the stencil I do I do I sell this stencil in my online shop if you are interested in the supplies I've used tonight when you type in dog tag uh, you will get a message to your Facebook messenger and it will tell you you're entered into the weekly drawing and there will also be there will also be some buttons that you can push and if you select the one that says product info it'll bring up another it'll send you another message and then you can click on um, today's supplies and you can see where I've got I've got this in again I don't know if you were with me at the very beginning this actual tag is discontinued so until we can get production of it on our own laser cutter um, it's not available um, but I did put in another surface that you could use instead so you could put that transfer inside this surface so I put that in the sh in the link well, we can, we can get those tags real quick. okay yeah okay so be looking for them in our online shop um, okay, let me show um, you. Let me show Teresa you. Teresa wanted to show what color blue are you using? This is Cadet Blue. Whoops. Okay. Who was that? Timer? Oh, that's the timer? Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let me back up here, Teresa. Alana! It was Alana? Alana's the, la the one in prior to that. Eight, okay. Eight. So let's get her in, reset the timer. Okay, so here is what we've got so far. Does that look like a dog tag? Does that look kind of military-ish? Does that look flaggish? Well, I'm hoping so. Okay, we are not quite done. You know, before I go on, I'm going to tell you about cleaning the transfers. These are meant to be reusable. So the company guarantees that you can reuse this 10 to 12 times, but I know if you clean it up properly, um, pretty quickly and thoroughly, you'll get a lot more uses out of it than that. You'll get 20 something uses if you wanted to. 
So I'm not going to take the time to clean this on air, but to clean it, I'm just going to spray it with just water. I'm gonna use my board eraser, kind of like a magic eraser. I'm gonna get this damp and I'm just going to front and back clean out the paste so that it gets out of the screen. Until I'm ready to clean it, I just sprayed it so that it stays damp. Okay, um, the thing I remember about dog tags is they wear them on a chain and it's one of those, what is it like a ball chain? Is that what it's called? I don't know, do you guys remember? I'm dating myself here. I don't know if they still do this. Do you remember when you were in elementary school and they would sell ID necklaces and they were on that beaded ball steel chain? Am I dating myself? Does that make, does anybody know what that means? Anyway, so what I thought would be good for that is I have some beads that I painted, I pre-painted them because I didn't know that I'd have time. So we are going to string these on and that's going to actually be our hanger. While you're stringing them on, tell them how you painted them. Okay, how I painted these beads. Hold on, let me get this. How I painted these. Um, I took my paint, I took the, the beads, so I took like, here's some, here's some black ones. So I took as many beads as I wanted, I stuck them in a plastic bag, I took some of my paint, squeezed just a little bit in there, and I just mushed them up and rolled them until every surface was covered, then I pulled them out of the bag and let them dry. So that's what I did to get these, I just did them, I just did them earlier. But you just, you put them out on, on paper or what? I just, well, usually I put out, I have like a pie pan. I just line in foil so that, because the beads will roll around. And I, if I put them in here, I blow dry them and they don't go all over the table. Anyway, that's, that's how I do beads. In fact, that's probably what I ought to do a live on. A reel. A reel, not a live. Okay, I'm going to make a little needle. So I have just some scotch tape and I have my twine and I'm just going to make like an aglet. You know what those are? Those things that are at the end of your shoestrings. I am just making this like a little needle at the end. Yes, we think all branches of military. They're called ball chains. Okay, so that's what we're trying to imitate here. So, I'm just going to... Yeah. <laughs> Ron, it says the clawfoot tubs use that kind of chain. <laughs> oh, that's true, that yes. And I think Somebody also the later. also the pull chain um, toilets, didn't they have the ball chain? They used to put them in the, in the toilets uh, for that. Uh, Julie said it earlier, too. I just, you were talking, so oh. I didn't interrupt you. It's funny how those things come, you know, they just yep. sort of ring in the back of our head. We think of different okay. things. Okay, Cynthia like, remembers those ID necklaces. You could get necklaces or you could get a bracelet. And I always wanted a new one every year, although it didn't matter because the names of my parents never changed, my address never changed, phone numbers never changed, but I wanted a new one every year. Thank you for the stars, Julie. We appreciate that. All our stars this month are going to be forwarded to Watts of Love, which is a um, which is a charity that we partner with. That would be Julie, not because she sent the not because she sent the stars, but that she just sent them recently. Julie Macintosh. Okay, you are entered and. I'm going to I'm going to switch this up. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to switch that up so we have time to do one more. Do, 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 do. So, I'm not absolutely certain how I'm going to attach this yet. Never heard of them. A Watts of Love. A Watts of Love. They are they are an organization that uh, partners with third world countries that do not have electricity. 
And what they do is they provide these people um, solar lights so that they can have light after dark. Their only other way of getting light after dark is a fire, which is not safe, uh, kerosene, which costs them money, or candles, paraffin, which costs them money. And money, as you can imagine, is, is a limited quantity for them. So sometimes they go without. Okay, let me see. So here's some money. and chain on ceiling lights. Oh, that's true. Ceiling fans. We have one. We have one of those. And Julie sent you 50. And well, thank you. Sent you 50. Thank you so much. Okay. Let oh, me see. Julie sent you another 50. Well, thank you so much. Awesome. Activate a star party. Uh. Star party, 14%. <laughs> I guess I have to do a bit more, huh? Uh. Okay, let me get this tied in kind of tight. Thank you, Rebecca. She commented dog tag. Thank you. Okay. Tied up. Let me clip that off. And here we have, here we have our dog tag. What do you think? Star party going. Go, go, go. It'll be great for Watts of Love. Um, anyway, we partner with them to help them provide um, electric lights to these, these communities and they also probably more importantly is they provide financial literacy education for them because not that they have to know how to use their credit cards or balance their checkbooks but they need to understand the concept of saving and if they don't have to spend money on kerosene or candles they can take that money and they can use it they can save it up and buy themselves a flock of chickens and then they have meat and then they have eggs and then they have a little business going. So here is, here is my dog tag. And that, that will be our last entry. Carol Searcy. Okay, you are entered. Let me get this cleaned up. And then I will show this one more time and then we'll do our drawing. So if you ent if you typed in dog tags in the comments, you are entered into our weekly drawing that we have on Sunday nights. But if we got your comment as one of the entries for tonight's, we are about to do that drawing. So here is here is our dog tag one more time. Supply list, if you type in dog tags, you'll also get an opportunity to push the buttons for product info, and you'll find tonight's supply list in there. Okay, so let's do two, two, two happy mail winners, and you have to seal it. If it's indoors, no, I don't need to seal it if I'm going to keep it indoors. Okay, Julie McIntosh. Hey. Julie McIntosh. Thanks, Rhonda. And not that one, this one. Peggy McGlinger. Peggy McGlinger. Julie McIntosh and Peggy McGlinger. Um, I am going to be messaging you after I get cleaned up here. So you don't have to you don't have to respond tonight because I know it might be late where you're at. But no, I am going to send you a um, a Facebook message, getting a little more information from you, so I get you the perfect happy mails chosen for you and get it out to you. So be looking for a message from Raincross Farms Makery in your messenger. Yay! Okay, so I think I think I saw both Peggy and Julie. I think, she's right here. Okay, there she you go. She asked, did you seal it? Okay, yeah. And and no, I don't have to. I could spray clear coat over it. I don't have to if it's going to be indoors because when this is dry, this is smudge and budge proof. If I scraped at it, I can scrape it off. But it's smudge and budge proof, so if it's indoors, I don't need to do anything with it. Isn't that awesome? I love it. 
I love it, love it, love it. Okay, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you're not already following us, please do so on Facebook and YouTube at Raincross Farms Makery. And we will be going live again tomorrow night. Um, probably not this late. We, we generally go at 6.30 uh, Pacific time. So be looking for us. And hopefully you'll join us again. And we will see you then. Do something creative every day. Bye-bye.